and welcome in this video lecture i am going to start chapter 19 of the halliday resnick walker book uh, which is named as kinetic theory of gases uh, in this video i am going to discuss uh, some basic terms uh, like what are avogadro's number what is molecular mass molar mass then i would uh, discuss Uh, ideal gases uh, what is uh, ideal gas law and uh, how it can be represented uh, then i would calculate uh, the work done by an ideal gas at constant temperature and uh, work done at constant volume and at uh, constant pressure so uh, we are going to discuss some cases uh, related with uh, ideal gas so let's start our discussion with avogadro's number basically a mole is an si unit and what is 1 mole then we can say what is avogadro's number 1 uh, mole is defined as 1 mole is the number of atoms is the number of atoms in a 12 gram sample of carbon 12 this is a definition of uh, one mole and uh, number of atoms in one mole in one mole of a substance is known as evo gardos number and its value is uh, na represented by na and 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 per mole so this is uh, our avogadro's number that is number of atoms in a one mole of a substance and one mole i have defined earlier uh, the name uh, avogadro's was given uh, after uh, italian scientist uh, amedio uh, avogadro next is uh, i would like to define what is meant by number of moles number of moles it is given by n and number of moles in a substance is equals to number of molecules number of molecules in the sample represented by capital n over avogadro's number so this is a number of mole and this is number of molecules per unit avogadro's number if we have a mass sample uh, then number of moles uh, will be calculated in a different way and uh, the molar mass is represented by m then if we have the sample of the mass then number of moles is given by mass of sample divided by molar mass and 
this molar mass is equals to m times n a where m is m sample is mass of the sample and small m is mass of one molecule so the mass of a molecule into avogadro's number will give you the uh, molar mass one can say that m is equals to m times n a often these terms are confusing i repeat again this m is capital m is molar mass this small m is mass of a single molecule uh, this m of sub of sample is mass of the sample and small n represents number of moles uh, and capital n represents the number of molecules next i would like to discuss ideal gases this is topic 19.3 of halliday resnick walker book uh, first we need to know what are ideal gases ideal gases is basically hypothetical concept uh, which means the gases which have Uh, negligible which cover negligible space and uh, have very low density nearly zero density experiments uh, have found that if we confine one mole uh, of various gases in boxes of identical volume and hold the gas at the same temperature then their mayer pressure um, are nearly uh, do not exactly the same Uh, if we uh, have uh, one mole of substance of uh, different gases uh, of identical volume then they uh, maintain at same temperature uh, then their pressures are same if we repeat the measurements at lower gas densities that is uh, that you can say as uh, ideal gas then these small differences in the mayer pressure tend to disappear further experiments show that at low enough densities all gases tend to obey the relationship that is known as ideal gas law so as i told at lower densities gases obey the ideal gas law what is ideal gas law uh, you might have seen it in your previous classes that is pv is equals to nrt this is known as ideal gas law here p is pressure v is volume uh, n is number of moles r is uh, basically a constant gas constant and its value is 8.31 joule per mole per kelvin and uh, t is temperature uh, this law uh, holds for uh, a gas single gas or mixture of gases uh, maintained at uh, very low density now uh, i want to derive another uh, form of uh, ideal gas law in terms of boltzmann constant uh, 
Boltzmann constant K is given by ideal gas constant or gas constants over Avogadro's number. And uh, this K is equals to 1.38 into 10 raised to power minus 23 joule per Kelvin. This is the value for Boltzmann constant. From this relation I can write down as R is equals to K times Na. Um, previously I have told that number of moles is equals to number of molecules over Avogadro's number. So substituting the values of Avogadro's number that is from this relationship comes out to be n over small n. And if I put this in equation b then the result would be r times or you may write it down as n times r is equals to k times capital N. Substituting this value of n or a here in uh, in equation a uh, I will get the result PV is equals to uh, n r is equals to k times n into t so uh, I reach to a famous result P V is equals to N K T. N is number of molecules, K is uh, Boltzmann constant and T is temperature. But one thing should be kept in mind that uh, in reality there are no ideal gases. Uh, however, by uh, using the uh, concept of uh, this ideal gas one can uh, see the limiting case of uh, the real gases that we find uh, in, in different discussions. In next part of this discussion I would like to explain work done by an ideal gas at constant temperature and uh, moving onward I would also discuss work done uh, at constant volume and at constant pressure uh, so uh, in lecture 2 uh, I told you a relationship of calculating the work done uh, of the system uh, using PV diagrams that is work done is basically area under the curve or integral of the P times dV integrating it from some initial volume to some final volume. Suppose we allow uh, an ideal gas to uh, expand from some initial volume to some final volume uh, keeping the temperature of the uh, this system to be constant. When temperature is constant it would be known as uh, if say we are dealing with expansion then it would be known as isothermal expansion when basically volume is increasing and the reverse of it would be isothermal when the volume is decreasing it would be known as isothermal compression. Let me explain it with the help of a PV diagram. I take volume along x axis and pressure along y axis and these are the curves when 
volume is increasing from initial to final state this would be like if the temperature remains constant then it would be isothermal expansion and if the volume decreases let's say like in this case it would be known as this is my initial point and this is my final point then the uh, volume is decreasing this is would be known as isothermal compression i am maintaining uh, temperature to be constant uh, the ideal uh, gas law is given by pv is equals to nrt and pressure would can be written as nrt 1 over v this whole quantity in this case of isothermal expansion or compression at constant volume uh, is like a constant right now uh, i can use this equation let me call this as equation c uh, equation c i can put the value of this pressure in equation c and get the work done by an ideal gas at constant temperature this would be work done uh, i am going to integrate it from some initial volume to some final volume and pressure is nrt over uh, v into dv nrt is constant i can take it out of this integral and the integral remains as this one from v i to v f now this integral is equal to natural log of uh, volume n r t times natural log of volume from some v i to sorry v f when i put these values it would become n r t natural log of vf minus natural log of vi and using the property of log i can write it down as nrt natural log of vf over vi so this is my work done by an ideal gas at constant volume in case of uh, isothermal expansion this vf would be greater than uh, vi and so this ratio would be greater than 1 and natural log of a number greater than than 1 is positive so work done would be positive when volume is expanding in case of compression this vf would be uh, less than vi and uh, this quantity will be less than 1 and natural log of a number lesser than 1 is negative so one can say that when the gas is expanding the work done is positive and when the gas is compressing uh, under isothermal condition the work done would be negative the next part of discussion is work done at constant volume and constant pressure these are two different cases work done by an ideal gas at constant volume and work done by an ideal gas at constant pressure this equation d that i have uh, previously uh, basically deduced uh, from my work done at constant temperature um, cannot be uh, applied to all the cases because it is a specific case in which temperature is kept constant uh, when uh, in not in all the cases the temperature is constant so when the temperature is not constant i cannot take it out Uh, as constant from this uh, equation uh, so one has to keep in mind uh, that uh, we have to 
uh, basically we cannot apply this equation to uh, all the cases of an ideal gas so we come to work done at constant volume and constant pressure when volume is kept constant uh, this means there is no change in uh, volume this d would that represents change in volume would be zero and we know that work done is equals to integral of p dv when volume is not changing it means the work done would be zero in case of constant volume process when the gas is not expanding or compressing uh, it this means that work done would be zero next is the case of uh, constant uh, volume uh, sorry constant pressure and uh, then work done is given by p times delta v and p is pressure and volume let's say changes from v f v i to v f then it would be given like this this is my let's say equation e this gives you the work done by an ideal gas at constant pressure now let's do uh, some numericals related with our today's discussion uh, first numerical that i have taken is numerical number 4 uh, which which is stated as compute the number of molecules and number of moles in 1 cm cube of an ideal gas at constant at, at a pressure 100 pascal and temperature of 220 kelvin volume is given as 1 cm cube uh, pressure is given as 100 pascal and temperature is given as 220 kelvin you can use the relationship uh, pv is equals to uh, either you can use as uh, n kt you know the value of pressure volume uh, you basically will find this n by pv over kt you know pressure you know volume you know this boltzmann constant and you know the temperature you can easily calculate this um, number of molecules then the number of moles is given by number of molecules that you will get from let's say this equation 1 and when you will substitute it here divided by avogadro's number that is 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 you will get the result basically uh, in terms of number of moles which is which would be our equation 2 so i leave the calculation uh, to uh, you people uh, you can easily calculate them by putting all these values let's do another numerical this is numerical number 7 of the harry de resnick walker book it is stated as oxygen gas having a volume of 1000 cm cube at 40 degree centigrade and 1.01 in 10 raised to power 5 pascal pressure expands until its volume is 1500 cm cube and its pressure is 1.06 into 10 raised to power 5 pascal in part a you have to find the number of moles uh, of the oxygen uh, present and in second part you have to calculate the final temperature of the sample for first part we can use the relationship pv is equals to n r t uh, pressure is given right uh, the volume is given 1000 cm the pressure is 1.01 into 10 raised to power 5 pascal uh, v is given as 1000 cm cube and 
आर इज गैस कॉन्स्टेंट एट थर्टी वन इट्स वैल्यू इज एट पॉइंट थ्री वन सॉरी एंड टी इज फोर्टी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड सो सब्सटिट्यूटिंग ऑल दीज वैल्यूज यू कैन गेट एन बाय पी वी ओवर आर टी सेकेंड पार्ट लुक्स अ बिट ट्रिकी बिकॉज यू हैव टू फाइंड द फाइनल टेम्परेचर ऑफ द सैम्पल फॉर दिस केस आई वुड एज द प्रेशर इज चेंजिंग वॉल्यूम इज चेंजिंग एंड टेम्परेचर इज चेंजिंग एज एल सो आई कैन यूज दिस रिलेशन लेट से दिस इज माई वन रिलेशनशिप इक्वेशन नंबर वन इन दिस फॉर्म एज चेंज इन प्रेशर इंटू चेंज इन वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल्स टू आई नो एन फ्राम दिस अब दिस रिलेशनशिप एन आर टाइम्स डेल्टा टी नो डेल्टा पी इज पी एफ माइनस पी आई एंड दिस इज वी एफ माइनस वी आई एंड दिस कम एन इज नोन फ्राम दिस वन and or we already know this is final temperature minus initial temperature we know all these quantities and we can find out uh, this final temperature i once again uh, leave these computation uh, to you people uh, you can easily uh, find them out by uh, using a calculator uh, and putting all these values so in this lecture we have discussed some basic equations uh, relationships related with uh, avogadro's number number of moles mo number of molecules and how they can be represented in terms of uh, molar mass and mass of sample in the next discussion i have uh, discussed the uh, ideal gases uh, and then i have given Uh, work done by an ideal gas uh, gas at different uh, at constant temperature and at constant volume and at constant uh, pressure uh, hope you have understand uh, understood this uh, lecture and uh, i would be back with a, a new discussion uh, related to kinetic theory of gases thank you all